clear skies over Petco Park in San Diego. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. Who's going to win the battle between these two? We'll see next. Charlie Casto will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, he's really struggled with runners in scoring position. Over 300 average coming into this start. So, to me, it's if he has traffic on the field, on the bases, can he pitch out of those jams? That will be the key that determines the fate of this game. Leading off at the plate, range. Stephen Serrano. And as you take a look Steven at the splits here, he's actually Serrano. better against right-handed pitching this season. These oh, Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, they've won the first two games, Matt, here on the road. And I, that's impressive anytime you do that. Now they're looking for the sweep. In this place, that's pretty good. Here's the one and one delivery. And a fastball just a bit high. Set to deliver on two and one. Drilled on the ground is short. Taken in by Flores. Throw on to first in time, one away. Time now to check the hometown Padres lineup card in this one. Harold, what's the key to avoiding the sweep? I'll tell you what, this is one of those pitcher's parks you come in, you go, uh-oh, I could be 0 for 15 if I don't execute. And how do you execute in a pitcher's park? They throw you outside, take that base right hit to right field. field. Don't try to and do well, too much. You do what he gives you, you take what he gives you, and you move on. And this is taken outside for ball one. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there, make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. <laughs> yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Manuel Margo becomes out number two this inning. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Yeah, James Kingsley, solid umpire, and pretty universally appreciated around the game. Basically, he's not a guy you're ever dreading to see behind the plate. I like the call for the two-strike changeup. you got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. And this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Stepping up to the plate, Sean Brown. Petra. Sean Brown. Let's go. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cologne is there, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. On now to. Stepping in, Willie Wagner. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the Willie game last night. Wagner. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. In there at the letters, one and two now. Ready on one and two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. Hit hard to short. And he set down one away. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. 
in this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these well, guys the are old back. school, very traditional. You don't see the shift wow. applied very often in this club. Oh, my game back. So coming to the plate, Julius Cordero. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. He may have to get his eyes checked on that one because if he's looking for fastball, man, he had no chance of catching up to that. He better check his eyes. He was really late. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, it's pretty rare you get two good fastballs back-to-back to, back to hit. He missed the first one, got the second one, and didn't miss it. Digging in, James Duran. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Duran Takes a knee-high fastball. Bottom of the second here with no score. He's got one out right here. Set with the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swinging a soft liner in there, a base hit. And he is in there. Well, when your average is down that low, you'll take any kind of hit. He'll take that all day long right there. Batting seventh, third baseman, Christian Colon. Here we go now. Let's go. In now, Christian Cologne. And she'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. One home run and four RBIs. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. So digging in now, Christian Bethencourt. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. He's already given up a run. He's got a runner on. He's got to put this guy away. Got him in an 0-2 count. You can't let this inning get any worse. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1-2. and two. short hit hard on to second for the force out and the side is retired the sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark oh my goodness more matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this Back now with baseball on the show from sunny San Diego some of the most beautiful coastline now batting, Charlie Casto. He'll get us going in the Enter. home half of inning Charlie number three. Casto. Hey, all right, here we go. First pitch coming. Here it is. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Well, that's such a great pitch for the pitcher. It's so hard to lay off a changeup when you're looking for the fastball on the first pitch. And clearly, he was looking fastball. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two.
fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among up league leaders the in that department. The shortstop, Steven Serrano. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Valaika is over now, and he's got it for route number two. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. Up next for the Padres. 0 for 1 for him here in right this one. Fielder, Manuel Margot. Into the windup and the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this is foul for the first strike. With two outs, they're not playing him to bunt here. And he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Oh, that's a good sign right there. After the fastball, he gets that changeup, and he stayed right on it. He just couldn't keep it fair. He's seeing the ball well, though. Soft liner towards center. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. So Will Myers will get a chance to bat this inning following the base hit. Here's Will Myers. 0 for the 1 batter. here in the early going. Baseman. From will. the stretch. Myers. Took a little off, and it's in for a called oh, strike one. Tying run at first base. He's got to make sure that a ball in the gap, he scores. He's got to get a great jump. And one way to do it, as soon as you see that ball through the zone and you see the swing and it makes contact, you just got to get flying. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing the bat at that pitch. Again, a 1-2. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. Padres leave one. Our score remains two to one. On, Stepping ladies. in and ready for another the shot. Number Sean Brown. Sean He's 0 for 1 Brown. thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a bunt attempt here. And this will be swept away in foul territory, and we'll see if they try the bunt again. The 0-1 delivery. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Hey, he tried the surprise attack there with a bunt with a runner on base. Hey, he gets thrown out, but it works just as good as a sacrifice. Ready for another chance. Willie Wagner comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Number 8. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. He's having a really good game. He's over 70% first pitch strike. When you get that first pitch strike, now it opens up the whole strike zone. And that's why a pitcher can dominate. And he's doing that in this game. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. The Standing in now, nine. Julius Cordero. As Julius. the first pitch to him is Cordero. in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy. 0-2, so that was a good job to hold up right there. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Softly hit here to the left side. But uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. The 
Into the box Left now. Fielder. James, James Duran. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Oh, one pitch and he can't make contact on the bender. Oh, and two. Well, that was an awful late swing on a curveball. One of two things. He either didn't pick it up or he was sitting curveball and had his mind made up that he was going to swing and the break broke before he expected it. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. He'll try again, one, two. Liner towards second. Ooh. Leaps and makes a terrific okay. catch. And with that, the side is retired. A ball ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Well done, man. Well done. Digging in to try it again, Christian Colon. He had a sack fly earlier. Third baseman, Christian Colon. Into the windup and the pitch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. Hey, come on now. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Oh. Oh, and that one stayed too low, apparently. About? Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Foul back. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Very weakly on the ground. But it gets foul. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Digging in for his second at bat, Christian Bethencourt. 0 for 1 for Christian him here in this one. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Yonheva Solarte will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 26, Yonheva Solarte. Checked his swing there and pops this one up. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Conforto is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Padres down in order. They trail it 4-1. Ready once again, the Sean Brown, 0 for 2 Sean here to start Brown. the afternoon. Soft liner towards short. Throw gets him, 2 down. Digging in, Stephen Serrano, and then he and his fellow Leading top of the order hitters right. haven't really offered much but help for this up. lineup so far. Steven no, your 1-2-3 so right. guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. There's another swing and strike on a fastball. He's got a nice fastball working, great pop on it, and he's keeping it high in the zone. They're going to have to lay off that if they want to have any success, because you keep chasing it, they're going to keep swinging the missile. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time. Steven Serrano becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Now batting, right fielder. And that'll bring up Manuel, Manuel Margo. Margo. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Zero. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Sixth inning. 
four to one is our score. All right, come on now. And he'll oh, take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. On to first, and there were two down. Here's Will Myers, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Right here. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game. And that one ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Striding in once again. Willie Wagner do up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1-2. and two. Well, if you're wondering how good his stuff is, that is it right there. They're not picking him up in this day game right here, and he's got good stuff working. Lifted in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Julius now Cordero. One for two on his line so far in Julius the game. Cordero. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Merrifield scoops it up. Throw on to first. Two gone. Digging in once again. James Duran. A hit in two tries so far. Duran. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. That's mm, 2 0. Oh. You know what, Matt? He's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He, he should be feeling pretty good about himself. Look out. All over the place now. 3 0. Oh. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Now at the plate, Christian Colon. He hit a sack fly earlier. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Well, that's another first pitch strike right there. Now he's over 70% so far in this game. First pitch strike to hitters. That's why he's deep in the game right now. Pitch inside. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Mm. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up on the backhand. And he'll get in there safely. 
Well, that's called smelling a base hit right there. He beats out an infield single. Not everybody hustles out of the box, but he darn sure knew he better than he did. Settling in now, Christian Bethencourt. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the Friars two. Your Josh Edgen is on to pitch out of the bullpen York, in the bottom half of the eighth. 66, Josh Edgen. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. Sean Brown pitches his way to a team leading 12th win of the year. Jerry's Familia records the save, his 30th. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on Good over game, to theshownation.com. Got my 12. Good game. The final line.